Hello, hello, Dr. J here, and we're talking about mental health awareness, and we're applying the four pillars. The last one we get to talk about is nutrition, and this is one that sometimes people can get a little upset with me because they're saying, are you saying that all my mental health is because I'm eating wrong? And I go, no, I'm not saying all of it is, but what I do know is that when we've had trauma, the brain is on high alert. The limbic system is always looking for that bear. It's looking to protect you always. And so what I'm asking is, could we look at potential false triggers that get that limbic system raring to go and then create false emotional stats for ourselves? And so what we know about the limbic portion of the brain is that it relies on the five senses to survive. And your saliva is part of your taste buds. So the moment food hits your mouth, your saliva then determines, is this real, is it fake? Is it gonna serve me? Or is this a chemical that I'm gonna have to break down and work? And it alerts the entire digestive tract. Hey dude, this is coming down, get prepared. Well, if it's a chemical, we've alerted the limbic portion of the brain to danger. If it's wheat, there's so much research on wheat having a psychological event attached to it. It can be everything from depression to anger to trigger tempers. It's really pretty incredible. So what I often will recommend to people is, how about we try making sure that we have incredible fats in our diet? Because we know a lot of times, especially with women who've had children or multiple children, the brain fats are depleted and they need to supplement. And when we have deficiency in our brain fats, it often leads to depression and anxiety. So how about we do a really hard course of coconut oil, butter, maybe some supplementation of brain food, and we really decrease the sugars and the wheat and the artificial colorings and the artificial flavorings. And there's actually a book called Crazy Makers that goes into great detail on how our emotional stats can be completely altered by the foods that we're eating. So I always encourage people to do that at first so that they can reduce the load on the limbic portion of the brain and then they can see what's real that they need to deal with and then also what was just a false trigger that got everybody upset. So I hope that helps you to, exp uh, to explain just a little bit more about when I talk about the nutritional causes of mental health issues is it's a trigger and we want to try to avoid as many of those as possible. And if you need help, I am here and it's, I'm available and I'm excited to help you with this. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.